Z. Yeah, <laughs> selling their tacos all day. And speaking of things Mexican, good morning. Good morning. We have Luis. Yes. And Cecilia. Cecilia. Yes. Good morning. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, Thank you so gracias. much for coming in. Thank you, you guys um, are celebrating the Day of the Dead because this is very big in <coughs> Mexican culture. Yes. And we don't know a lot about it. I love it. So I love like that to you know. celebrate the dead. Why not? Yes. That, that is what about. It's just like a celebrate people that maybe passed away yeah. and uh, we celebrated the first and the second of November the first we celebrate childs the yes. second we celebrate adults and uh, that comes from pre-hispanic times you know that mm -hmm. ah, so, exactly. yes. so Aztecs and old mix and Mayas used to have their own gods and pray celebration to them so day of the dead lady of dead was one of those and they were like uh, doing some ceremonies and they believe in life before this life but nowadays we celebrate in november like why i'm gonna tell you something they used to celebrate june to august mm -hmm. now we are celebrating the first and the second of november because after the spanish conquest yeah. uh, we adopt the catholic religion so what we do and, and day of the day is going to be a beautiful example of resisting to disappear we have this mixture of Aztec beliefs or pre-Hispanic beliefs and the Catholic religion together. All meshed together. How cool. So Isn't that great. So, and a Druid event has been pinched <coughs> by the Christians and it's all been meshed together. I yeah, love that's, it. That's why you see skulls. Like it's not from the Catholic religion. But you see as well uh, crosses that are part of the Catholic yes. beliefs. Okay. So yeah, that so, is what it is. Luis, what are you going to cook for us this I'm morning? I'm going to prepare the bread of the dead. The bread of the dead. Which, <laughs> and you eat this on the first or the second? You eat this on, yes. Yes. at the celebration? Basically, uh, during the whole month. It's okay. very popular. Oh, okay. um, it's a very simple recipe. Uh, I'm just here uh, heating the, the, the milk, dissolving the, the butter. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to add all the ingredients that you're going to find uh, on website. your website. Oh, okay, good. It's uh, salt, sugar butter and milk I'm assuming that was the sugar not the salt yeah <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out so. <laughs> yes we will so we just dissolve that what other foods are eaten um, around this sort of celebration um, like well bread of dead is yeah. one of the, the most popular one but as yeah. well we do something with the pumpkin you know the pumpkin that you use for roast chicken yeah we do that but in the sweet version and it's very popular as well. What do you do with it? Time. Sweet. We put what do you some do? sweet, um, like a special, like a sugar cane, mm -hmm. and we solved all together. It's very simple. It's just salt the, the uh, sugar cane with the pumpkin, and then you just pour some milk, and it's a calabaza is the name. Mm -hmm. So calabaza and day of uh, bread of death are mo the most popular uh, dishes you will find. I wonder why the pumpkin. Uh, because it's the season. Ah, the same. November, Got it. yes. Yep. Uh, one of the beautiful part of November, it's most of the colors in Mexico this time is like this color, like orange, yellow. So most of the ingredients as well, like pumpkin, mm -hmm. are this color. So it's 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 the representation of, of Day of the Dead celebration. That color. Is Should very we catch cool. up with Luis yeah, no, and find out what what has been happening? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm trying to rush a little bit. So basically, I just mix all the ingredients and dissolve the yeast with a little bit of warm uh, water. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to add everything, all the ingredients here in the mixer, um, just for a few, few minutes. Uh, of course, we don't have much time for <laughs> mixing it. So I prepared it before. Oh, Aha. Thank goodness you did. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, well done. Bravo, bravo. Okay, so I'm just gonna um, stand this. And, and this will it. be flying out the door down at Besos Latinos. Yes, yeah. yes. Which is your restaurant? Yeah. Yes. The first authentic Latin American restaurant in New Zealand. Really? Yep. Yes. How fantastic. How long have you guys been around for? Three years. Three years, Three years okay, yes. Nice. How long have you been in New Zealand? Four years. Four years. And a half. Uh huh. Yeah. And what made you come to New Zealand? Oh, well, in my case, love, because I follow this beautiful guy. <laughs> Do I love, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, he, was, he used to live in Australia, so he just told me, join me, we'll do find out what is happening in New Zealand. Yeah, we'll we take it over. Beautiful thing. So we say, we'll okay, let's do it. And now we have a restaurant here. So <laughs> that's so cool. That's quite a surprise. <laughs> and do you get home much? Well, yes, yes, but uh, that 
having a restaurant uh, with all these Latin American things and our own recipes and people, it helped me a lot to don't miss so home, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a home away from home. Okay, so this is the fun, the fun part. Um, I'm just gonna start to build the little bones. Can I just ask a question? From yeah. this stage here yeah. <clears throat> to that, how yeah. long has that taken? A few hours to kind of rise? And well, actually, you have to let it rest for at least 90 minutes okay. on a warm per place. Right. Yep. And it, um, it's just gonna grow like double size, mm -hmm. more, more or less. So for the bones, it's very easy. Bones. I'm loving this. Yeah, Make the bones. bones on the bread. Yes. So you have to open your hand like this. And basically, in the middle, you're gonna form these little kind of oh, bones, you know. That's how you do that. And just put it. Because I was there for one of these festivals oh, a few so years clever. ago. Yeah. And I loved it. And the, the bread was everywhere. It was just absolutely fascinating. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Tell me um, about the dolls, the skeleton faces. Oh, well, these, these ladies have a different stories. And, uh, but generally, what we do is like uh, see the dead in a more funny way. So we dress up skeletons with different characters like right. these ones here. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, it's, it's what it is about. It's just celebrate and don't be so sad or creepy or something like that because some people can find it like, oh, maybe it's like something dark and it's nothing oh, it's a happy day. dark. It is that's, happy. We, cool. we put, for example, altars with pictures of our re relatives and the favorite foods and drinks. And the idea is like they will come midnight and enjoy the feast. Uh -huh. It's like a build a bridge to them and don't forget it. And uh, my recommendation if you want to do a public uh, altar is bring public celebrities or something, no relatives. Otherwise we'll be like quite creepy to see in a restaurant <laughs> or like a girl like this and say, oh, too many people. So if you want to do a public um, altar, mm. do it with uh, celebrities or your favorite artist. Oh. Otherwise, we'll be creepy. Yeah, yeah. This is more. So I'm not mind doing that, though. Sometimes you go and hang out in the in the cemeteries, eh? And yes, kind of yeah, had your little do. party there too. Yes, yeah. yes. That's a little bit creepy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, with we, the, so you know what's what happening here. We, tomorrow we're going to have a Day of the Dead party. If mm. you want to join us, and at we'll, the restaurant. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. And we're going to. Um, uh, donate all the covers to NPH, uh, an organization caring of Latin American orphans and in the Caribbean as well. Good for you. So if you have the time, come and visit us. Yay. And all the while we've been chatting, we've been watching Luis work so hard. At, what, what, the little pink bit? Uh, well, I did a little bit of um, kind of sophistication. Uh, it is an icing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, not big science. A little bit of uh, icing sugar, uh, flour and, um, and butter. Um, just with a little bit of color, and then you just put a little, uh, uh, a little bit on top. Um, the end, it is just the egg. And when you throw them in the oven, how long will you cook them for, and at what temperature? Uh, 35 minutes, yep. 180 80 degrees. Fantastic. It's very Superstars. easy. So Look at those. I like that yeah. a lot. There are yeah. different ways to finish it. Uh, it can be just with sugar or with sesame, sesame seeds, mm -hmm. or with cina uh, cinnamon and sugar. Okay, sounds so, wonderful. Thank you both so, so I very much just for coming thank in. Thank you. A bit of this. Oh, our pleasure. Sugar. And have wonderful celebrations today and tomorrow. I bet the Gracias. restaurant's going to be pumping. I'm going to take the interview hey. tomorrow night. There's an outing on for you. us. Thank you Gracias. so much. Gracias. 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 We have more Mexican food on the way.